Man, how do these guys rotate so easily? All right, guys, so in competitive Fortnite, one of the hardest things to master is surviving until late game. With the highest quality of Fortnite lobbies being so highly populated throughout the entire game, you know, sometimes surviving until late game, it's quite challenging, if we could be honest. So with this in mind, like, how exactly do you master the art of edging past, you know, griefers and consistently making it to end game? Punch your crunch army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Today, welcome back to the third installment of our advanced series. Man, I'm so excited. Like, if you haven't watched the first two installments, check them out, guys, in the description below. Today, we're gonna be exploring everything that you need to know about playing mid-game flawlessly in competitive Fortnite. Who's pumped up? Oh, okay, I see you, I see you. You know, these fundamentals we'll be introducing in these series are complex and sometimes challenging to master. So make sure to check out our pro coaching service as well as our new VOD review system to get better quickly. Link can be found below. Punch your crunch army. Here we go. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Where you at? It's that punch your crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. You've made it safely to the safe zone. Now what? First, all right, let's get a general idea of your goal in the middle of games, okay? One of the most important parts of mid game is developing your own mid game play style. So this is something that can be fundamentally different for, you know, everybody. And a lot of your mid game play style should really depend on your strength as a player. So as a player, all right, you have to self reflect. Like, are you good at fighting? Are you a really good in game player? Are you comfortable fighting mid game? Like these are all the questions you should be considering when crafting a mid game player style. For example, like if you know you're really good at fighting, you might elect to isolate and just take more fights mid game than other players. Similarly, like if you are a really good in game player, you might elect to take no fights at all in an effort to just get to that part of the match that you can really perform in. Find your strengths and just play around them guys. Regardless of your mid game play style, you know, I will say this you should be proficient in evaluating zone densities. <laughs> if you like to watch pro guys, you most definitely heard this term before. So, identifying and rotating into dead side of every mid game zone should be a top priority. Dead side of zone is the portion of the zone where there is the least amount of players within the most space. Generally speaking, the dead side of zone will play to the corner of the map that the first zone plays to. For example, like if the first zone plays to the bottom left of the map, the quadrant of the zone that will consistently be dead side will be the quadrant towards slurpy swamp if you're a player who wants to take fights mid game by getting yourself to dead side you're going to allow yourself to get isolated fights for players that excel in end game all right and, and you want to avoid fights dead side is also the spot you want to be you won't have you know nearly as many players directly rotating into you and generally players will be more spread out so another important tip guys when crafting your mid game rotations is utilizing natural height on the map so important Natural height it simply refers to, you know, elevation built into the map. This can be anything from hills and mountains to buildings and cell towers. Utilizing natural height is beneficial for a couple of reasons. Can we break it down? Yes, let's do it. First, if you're consistently playing for in-game, using natural height as a way to not get w keyed. Secondly, if you want to fight mid-game, using natural height as a way to have height at the start of every fight, yo, it's extremely beneficial. Overall, constantly making playing on natural height is a priority and is extremely beneficial when playing mid game. So make sure that you're getting to uncontested space on the height and it'll always set you up for rotations later on in the game. So evaluating zone densities and utilizing natural height can be super challenging. So let me tell you this, the best way to master such skills is over at ProGuys.com, hands down. Our pro coaching service is so dope, as well as our new VOD review system to get really good, like super quick. <laughs> Link can be found below. So you properly evaluated the zone densities and hopefully made it to an uncontested spot on natural height, right? This is a process you should be repeating for every mid game. For the sake of separating mid game and end game, all right, we're gonna consider zones three through five mid game. In other words, zones before half and half. So getting yourself in a position to succeed in end game is the sole goal of mid game, right? With that being said, guys, these are three key skills that you need to master in the mid game alongside rotations. You guys ready? Here we go, I see you. The first skill is preserving your heals. Generally speaking, all right, you're doing a large majority, if not all of your looting in the early game, right? If you are constantly getting tagged or you use a lot of heals in the mid game, you won't have them in end game, which is typically problematic. So next, guys, you need to make sure that you're not wasting rotational items in mid game because similarly to hills, they are significantly more important to have in end game. Properly evaluating zone densities and utilizing natural height will greatly assist this. So finally, all right, consider where the next zone is going to play earlier rather than later. Meaning once you're in the zone and boxed up, begin to consider like where you should rotate to next. 
by doing this early. You will never get caught off guard if a challenging zone arises. Plus, you're gonna know how soon you have to leave your box. Okay, guys, so we gotta do this recap, like, right now. Here we go. First, consider your strengths and weaknesses and implement those into your mid-game playstyle. Second, guys, get to the dead side of every zone. We say this almost every video, and we're gonna continually do it until you do it. Third, utilize natural height to put yourself in a good spot leading into in-game. And fourth, consider all rotations early. Preserve your heals, guys, and save your rotational items when possible. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys are inspired to keep grinding, man, to never give up, to never surrender. Yo, in this video, I showed you the most important things to consider if you want to dominate mid-game. Which one of these strategies do you think is the most important? Let us know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out what we got coming out. And bunch of crunch, Charmy. Keep eating that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going.